Yeah, how, how are you approaching this week? Um, the same way I have the past uh, four weeks. Um, just taking it day by day, continuing to get better every day. Um, kind of have the mindset of 1% better every day, kind of taking it that way and just going to practice every day with the mindset of taking every rep like a game rep and just getting better every day. Now you had, now you had a chance to see the film. What kind of things did you learn from that, that play? Yeah, there's some things that, you know, I'm going to fix that I need to continue to work on uh, fundamental-wise, and, you know, that's why we have practice, and I'm going to continue to do that throughout this week of, you know, fundamentals and stuff like that. Is this week a little different for you where you can maybe get a little more reps with the ones if you're going to be starting and, and, and get a little more preparation for, for going into this week? Um, I think it's the same for every week. I mean, I'll continue to take advantage of every rep that I get no matter how many it is. Um, you know, I'm going to continue to get better every rep, continue to get better every practice, and, you know, just really take it day by day. Bailey, just how much does it help when it'll if you stand out there next time and have it feel familiar that you'll have, you'll have done a lot of the things that you'll be asked to do? Yeah, I'm sure there'll be a little bit more comfortability with it, but like I said, you know, I'm going to lean on my teammates a lot. Um, you know, they help me a lot at you know, the Packers, and, you know, I'm going to lean on them even more, you know, this upcoming game or whatever it is. And, um, you know, I'm really excited for um, you know, just going to practice every day and getting better. Bailey, yeah, you come into the locker room, you look over to your locker, and you see this big crowd standing around. What's your first reaction? <laughs> I just smile. <laughs> uh, I like talking to y'all. Just like Western Kentucky? I mean, yeah, maybe fame, a little fame, bit. Fame, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bailey, how much did you revert back to you know, maybe Trey Campbell a bit, you know, building the relationships even back to the offseason? Maybe hopefully when you got the chance on Sunday you could go in to use those previous relationships and what you've worked on in practice. Um, you know, we spend mostly every day, all day together, so there's a lot of relationships that are, you know, we're a big family, so like I said, we spend every day together. We've, I've been able to build quite a relationship with everybody in here for the last six months, however long I've been here. So, um, you know, we're a, we're a big family, so it was nice to be out there with those guys. What are your conversations like with Mac? Oh, they've been good. You know, he's been very helpful. Um, you know, I've, same for me. I've been trying to do everything I can to help him out when everything's going on. And, you know, we're just trying to be the best for the team. Bailey in college didn't do a bunch of under center stuff, but we saw you do a lot of under center in the game on Sunday. Just how comfortable do you feel playing under center and play action offense and stuff like that? It's not a lot more comfortable than I was about a year ago. Um, <laughs> that goes a lot with you know working with my teammates, working with the coaches, um, continuing to work with the comfortability with it, um, just continue to get in reps before and after practice. Bailey, what's something that you learned in the process of playing last Sunday about being in an NFL game you couldn't have known? Until you were in there, that you can then carry to this weekend. Um, there's a lot of things. I'm not going to get into the specifics, but there are some things that um, I've learned from you know just my fundamentals, being able to calm myself down, and you know just continue to focus on my job and what my job is at hand. How important is your relationship with David Andrews and the communication? I know that the lines are a blitz team, sort of that process you'll go through with him. Yeah, I mean, of course, relationships in football. I mean, it's a team sport. Your relationships are always important with everybody. Um, but, you know, the quarterback center, it's been forever known that, you know, that relationship is really important and be able to talk to him, pick his brain, because he's been in the league a lot longer than I am for sure. So kind of pick his brain and kind of, you know, kind of see it the way he's seeing it and, you know, just pick his brain, pick Mac's brain, um, Garrett Gilbert, everybody's brain, just kind of, you know, learn. You mentioned the nerves. Uh, if you are the starter this week, nerves will probably be a little calmer this week considering that it's your second time and, and it's at home. Um, will, will that help going into this game? If that's what you know happens, that's happens. Um, that's Coach Belichick. That's a question for him. I'm not going to get into those details. What was your phone like after the game? Did it blow up with texts? And I have all my notifications turned off, so I really didn't pay attention to it. <laughs> Did you read them after? Did you get them? Nah, I text messages to family. That was about it. What was that like for you? It was nice. Everybody was, you know, very supportive, very appreciative, and congratulating me with everything. And um, that's really about it. How appreciative are you of them for what they did for you? I'm very appreciative. Um, you know, my parents have made a lot of sacrifices for me to get here, and you know, for that to happen is a dream come true for all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.